arrived to put it organized and I'm going to show you where we are. Alright, the bylay is late, I don't know how you say it. <laughs> the Irish Sea probably. Or it might be some other name here. Um, Dickie and Sandy and Harry over there. Bike. But which is better? Bike? Right, I'm doing it. This might be totally stupid. I don't know if I'm going to succeed or not, but we'll give it a go. Right, I'm going in! <laughs> right, this is going to be short because that looks ridiculously cold. <laughs> I don't know how it can look cold, but somehow it does. It doesn't look very deep either. Oh, I want it deep, so I'm just getting quick. Ah, oh, oh, oh yeah. That's um, slippy and rocky and awful. Oh. I don't know if I can do it. Woo! Woo! It's the scary bit where it goes past your nudges. Ah. 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 Get out. Uh, that's enough. Enough. Enough for me. Uh, mate. I'm sure I could get used to it if I played in for a bit, but uh, ain't happening. The, um, British Army standard issue modular sleeping bag system so there's the summer sleeping bag here and here's the the winter one so this whole thing's gonna be super hot and then inside there I've got a silk liner I'm just wearing this um, top at the moment because I've got my arms out but I'll take that off when I when I climb in so that I stay super warm using the insulation apparently 
so I've read or heard if you wear clothes inside things like this you end up colder than if you don't makes no sense to me um what else we got we're all organized look we've got over here clothes food um gadgety stuff uh riding gear tech uh, ukulele gotta have a ukulele um, and really you can just hear me here here where i am you can hear just the hopefully hopefully not hear the wind and hopefully can hear the the sea breaking just on the just on the beach over there and this place apart from the fact that it's a bit cold and windy it's absolute paradise it's just so beautiful so just watch the sun go down and uh, now it's time to climb into this awesome sleeping bag and have a kit and i'll see you tomorrow <laughs> your your land. Oh, my land. Do we have to? Over there, is it? Do we have to bow down before you and kneel and uh, call you Lord, Laird, whatever you are? No. Uh, oh. Okay. Will you just charge us five hundred quid to get on it? <laughs> well, how much did it cost you to become a Laird? Eighty yeah, quid. <laughs> See the graveyard behind you. Yeah. And yourself over behind yonder, over the graveyard. So this is the. Uh, the oldest one that I can see here. We've just come to this graveyard near where Dickie's bit of land is, and uh, it's a really peaceful place. 1878, that one, I don't think it's in there. 1707, there we go. It's got to be the winner. We'll end up here. So we just uh, met a couple who've retired here, and um, and go for a little walk every day with their picnic and sit on a particular rock just over there. Oh, this is beautiful. You can see the, that, I believe it's called, did, did you say it's called Loch Stornoway? Yeah. Yeah, Loch Stornoway, we'll which there. is just an amazing beach and stuff. And, um, and uh, so they've retired here and they said that, that um, they've never met anyone coming to see their little parcel of land before, but they know about it. And they've said, as long as nobody buys the bit that they sit on and have their picnic, they'll be happy. <laughs> If they do, they'll set their blind dog on them. <laughs> Cassie, was the dog called Cassie? Cassie. Cassie. Yeah, the it's dog like called Dougal Cassie. Who looked, magic yeah, roundabout. magic roundabout Dougal dog. So the question is, how far to the kingdom? Let's have a look. 113 meters in that direction over there, straight over. Here comes the lead. his way to his uh, to his gaff to his manor you are right, Harry <laughs> now we go round on the way back now we know where we're going <laughs> wow this is weird land Like your land could be in the middle of the bomb. Really? That's really steep. Down there, isn't it? <laughs> We've got a bit of a path here. Someone's been here before. Deer trap, isn't it? It's not that deer. Sixty quid, I believe. <laughs>
amazing day, amazing views, <laughs> until about the last two hours when we just got cold and wet. I mean, it got seriously wet. We stopped to co-op, bought ourselves some supplies for, for, for now, for tonight. I'm uh, thinking I will sit around and chat, but it's just too cold. We're all absolutely soaked through, and everyone's gone to their tent. You can hear it's pouring with rain here. Um, no, no walking up and down the beach tonight. Just, uh, I just had a really long shower to try and warm up, and I'm going to fall into my uh, super bag in a minute just to warm up even further. So, um, uh, yeah, and then also on the way back, Harry's, uh, Harry's, we think his air intake took in some, um, some water, but it's quite conked out. He managed to get it started after about 10 attempts, and, um, and then had to keep the red fire all the way home, and it kept blowing steam out of the, uh, and it kept blowing steam out of the um, out of the exhaust, so it's obviously taken in water, presumably for the air intake, um, which had been kind of retrofitted by somebody before him at some point, and they probably haven't done a good job. And it looks a bit like there's a place that water to get in. Anyway, um, we all eventually got back, but uh, just uh, it was an amazing day until it wasn't, and then the last two hours were bloody miserable. So here I am in a tent. Nothing to do. I'm gonna. Fortunately, this uh, campsite though is top Wi-Fi, going out to all the different camping spots. So I'm gonna sit in here and um, run the internet.